Hey guys, Boston, Massachusetts checking in. So, you know, I'm just about to talk about something. The Bushwick Bill murder. That's really messing with me, guys. I'm like, damn, it's been a it's been a real tough year for hip hop. You know, hip hop and rap. We're really feeling it in the music culture, losing legends, losing Nipsey, man. You know, I'm just feeling it. I'm still not over there deaf, so on some real. But um I was just thinking about like I watched Dr. Boyce Watkins' channel, and he seems to think that Willie D is the one who was the mastermind behind <laughs> the Ghetto Boys when we all know that Jay Prince was, but he have his own perspective, so I, I, I feel him, like, you know what I'm saying, but the real deal, it was Dr., um, it was Jay Prince, you know, who started and founded and created the Ghetto Boys and Rap A Lot Records, Facts. So anyways, I was just he was just saying that the ghetto boys can continue to go on even without Bushwick. But I'm saying I'm chilling, I'm listening to the resurrection and I'm like, nah man, it just won't be the same. You know, anything can go on, but it just won't be the same. We always have to have the foundation, the origination, where it started from, how all the parts just fit perfectly it was a perfect match so in my opinion it just it's not just a brand you understand because that album and those albums that they created together all that knowledge they was kicking like they were drop, dropping jewels you can play their cds today and man you're gonna get a message from it if you want that real hip-hop culture what music is about like why we listen to music type attitude so I disagree with him, but that's just me. You understand as far as Dr. Boyce Watkins concerned. But you know, he was doing his salute. I'm like, okay, Dr. Boyce Watkins, you was a ghetto boys fan. Like, cause that be real. What they were saying is real. It's still happening today, damn it. So how you cannot relate if you still seeing it here, everywhere, in the world, even worse. But I was listening to the Resurrection album. You understand what I'm saying? All bangers, all bangers. And you gotta understand, they defy politics. Because when they came out, they were so controversial. People was trying to stop them. I can't think of the lady's name. She's still in, in, in politics to today. Um, oh my gosh, the black lady. She was like really speaking out against them and shit. I'm like, damn, why niggas always gotta be the niggas to, you know, try to stop another brother from getting his? Because his voice is louder. Because niggas is listening to him. Oh, uh, what is that lady's name? But she was the main advocate against the ghetto boys. So I really don't care for her today because I felt like those brothers was young back in the days. They wasn't doing anything wrong. They was really just creating music, their lyrics, their thoughts. They was, you know, sharing. That was the, the people's voice of the world. Hey, listen. This is what's happening because it seems not to be looked upon. You understand? They don't give black issues the type of attention consideration or respect to even bring forth our issues our problems the things that affect us but they're coming our community for votes dig that okay that's why i'm like nah man you niggas are corny man you niggas are corny without the guns you know what i'm saying they're killing us on paper man because not all laws uh are designed to help black people you understand but anyways that's what it is you understand what i'm saying but the resurrection album you know play spin let's give this brother's family some money more money if they didn't have any let's give them some you know all the group in memory of the ghetto boys who is really part of hip-hop and rap culture man I learned about the Ghetto Boys through this this young guy I was dating. He wasn't that young, but <laughs> younger than me, okay? So, that's how I learned about the Ghetto Boys. And the first song I really learned about the Ghetto Boys was, um, I started small time, Dope Gang, Cocaine. That song 
pushing rocks on the block that never broke man with Scarface in them so that was the real first song that I learned about in the hood about the ghetto boys and then you know I just started listening to their, their CD like do it like a geo like every song you can play it was so much happening during that time but they were spitting the truth and that's how I learned about them so you know I know the world understand them is why my mind's playing tricks on me but nah man there was niggas walking to the ghetto boys in the hood and street guys that was the number one CD getting played. Like, I must have brought that CD three times because it got stole three times. Okay? So, that's just, you know, I love the Ghetto Boys. May Bushwick Bill rest in peace. Um, forgive me for not saying his governments. I mean, I don't want to fuck it up. So, we all know him by Bushwick Bill. And that's what I'm saluting. And, you know, condolences to his family again. I just love the Ghetto Boys, man. Spin, 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 and spin, 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 and spin, and spin, and play, and play on all social medias. On, you know, if you gotta pay it, because I doubt if it's, you know, you can cut the albums now. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? You might can do a, probably, whatever market they have for it. Okay, guys? That's what I'm thinking about right now, guys. I will talk to you later. Have a great day.